Democracy is the foundation of healthy, prosperous, and equal societies. And societal demands have made a deliberative democracy a must. But where is the future of democracy heading? And how do we create societies that are more actively engaged in democracy? In this next session, Anu Bradford will interview Dubravka Suika on the future of democracy in Europe, including the important role of women leaders in shaping democracy. Good afternoon uh, and warm welcome, Vice President Suika. I am delighted that you are joining us today for this conversation. Good afternoon, and thank you for inviting me to this uh, forum. So um, this past week has been a big week for elections in the United States. But I wanted to take you back to 2019 and the European elections, where more than half of eligible voters casted their ballot. So that was a tremendous vote of confidence in democratic process and the importance of citizen participation. Um, I was wondering how you think the EU should be taking this legacy forward? Thank you for this question. This legacy of uh, turnout in uh, May 2019 is uh, for the Euro European Commission very important. This is the reason why we uh, decided to organize a conference on the future of Europe, which is uh, not only one conference, but a series of different fora different uh, conferences, uh, which will uh, be a sort of deliberative democracy. Uh, we saw that citizens want to have their say uh, beyond elections, not only once in four years, not only once in five years, but they want to have their say and they have to be included in policy making. So uh, we uh, realized that it is important to uh, have a, this conference. This is this will uh, we hope this will uh, take uh, two years and uh, we hope it will start by the end of this year under German presidency and it will land in two years time during uh, French presidency. So uh, we uh, don't uh, think that we have to, uh, we, we, we don't think that we have to abolish representative democracy. This is uh, to complement representative democracy because uh, we understood that there is a gap between us politicians and citizens. So we want to narrow this gap. We want to uh, come closer to citizens. We want to uh, talk to everyone, uh, irresponsible of uh, uh, someone's age, of someone's uh, roots, of someone's residence. This is the, of someone's gender. So this is the reason why we want to approach each and every citizen of Europe during uh, this exercise, this is very complex exercise, and we think that uh, it should be uh, uh, very open, inclusive, and transparent. These are the principles of our conference, and each and every citizen uh, could have find a way to be part of this conference. Uh, the topics. Topics will be uh, uh, chosen by citizens themselves. We, are, we will be here to listen to them, to listen to them, and in the end, to try to translate their ideas, their hopes, their concerns, uh, their proposals into concrete policies. So to make their ideas tangible, in order to make them, uh, um, make them be a real, a real uh, partner in policy making. Uh, so, as you know, democracy is a matter of trust. Nowadays, people sometimes feel left behind and they start blaming democracy itself. But it's uh, not democracy to be blamed. We have to improve our democracy. And we will try, as I said, to narrow this gap. And we will try to, uh, uh, of course, to uh, give feedback to our citizens after these deliberations. So this feedback will be the benchmark of this exercise. So feedback to citizens. It will be different from uh, from citizens' dialogues, from different conventions. So we would like to uh, make citizens feel that they are part of uh, democratic uh, processes of policy making. Since I was uh, mayor of Dubrovnik and I was uh, serving on a local, regional, 
national level. I was, me I was member of parliament uh, in Croatia and then a member of European parliament for almost seven years. I can understand uh, uh, the citizens and I was always trying to be as close as possible. So democracy politics is not uh, any more business as usual and democracy cannot be taken for granted. So we have to improve it. And this is the reason why the European Commission, European Council and European Parliament uh, will, uh, will um, sign joint uh, declaration. And after uh, this signature, this will, be, uh, this will be the starting point. And then uh, the intention was to launch the conference in physical, but uh, as you know, epidemiolog epidemiological reason, reasons uh, don't allow us to start it uh, physically. So we think it will be started uh, uh, in a hybrid way or online but uh, the commission has prepared the multilingual digital platform and uh, everyone could uh, approach this uh, would be able to approach this platform and to uh, uh, in order to express his or her views as i said we want to come to each and every corner of europe to come to each and every citizens regardless of their political uh, affiliation and regard regardless if they are uh, we want to reach out to those who are critical to the European project to see what is the problem, why don't they agree with our ideas, we will try to be uh, as close as possible, or sometimes our citizens don't understand how uh, Brussels, uh, how Brussels works, but, but we want to come closer and to try to, uh, uh, to uh, make them involved into the process. This is what the president for Ursula von der Leyen from the beginning of this commission uh, asked me uh, to do on behalf of commission. As I said, uh, uh, topics will be open. And uh, one more word to conclude the answer to this question. Uh, there will be there are many priorities, as you know, digital and the green, of course, together with demographic change, but health becomes little by little a very important topic. Nobody could have imagined this last year on December the 1st when we started this commission. But nowadays, um, I think that health will be one of the, uh, the, 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 the health will be prominent and dominant uh, topic during this uh, deliberation process. Thank you so much. Uh, Vice President Suica, I really appreciate how you emphasize the role of citizens in this process and how inclusive of a vision of democracy you uh, outline. I wanted to ask a little bit more broadly beyond your own portfolio, what are the priorities that you see and want to set for the future of Europe? So of course, I'm not working only on this conference. I'm also working uh, on a democracy action plan, on uh, fake news, on disinformation, but this is also uh, to be connected to priorities uh, regarding health. As you know, today, Commission adopted uh, an agreement or we authorized, uh, to, we authorized to order 300 million uh, doses of vaccine from, uh, from BioNTech and Pfizer. And we also have another, uh, another three contracts. So once uh, vaccine uh, would be approved by European Medical Agency, uh, uh, we will be ready. We are also working on vaccina national vaccination plans, which are also very important. As you might know, the distribution of vaccine will be very important. So this is our top priority at the moment, uh, being in the midst of this uh, COVID pandemic. Uh, this is very important. But one uh, more thing to mention is that yesterday and our negotiators agreed with the European Council and Parliament on a very big historic package on new generation EU, new recovery and resilience plan and a new uh, budget, seven years budget, which is 1.8 trillion euros. This, this is very important package, uh, uh, which will help uh, our member states and our citizens of Europe to recover from this uh, crisis and from this pandemic. So these are, very, these are two very important uh, issues we, which we are de dealing on, regardless of our portfolio, because this is the essence uh, of this moment. Thank you so much. I uh, think you have outlined an incredibly important an ambitious uh, vision and vision that European citizens can really relate to.
So, uh, Vice President, I want to thank you for the important work that you do, and I want to thank you for taking the time to come and share your insights and be part of this important conversation in Reykjavik with us. Thank you for, for having interest in uh, um, Commission's work in my portfolio and in uh, gender equality too, which we haven't mentioned, but it is uh, self-understandable. So thank you once again uh, for having these topics uh, uh, high on your agenda.